Today, we're going to look at some of the worst coaching tenures in NHL history. During his career, Ron Wilson has been the head coach for several different teams, but his most tumultuous stint came with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Despite Wilson's efforts, the team was never able to qualify for the playoffs and the situation in Toronto became increasingly toxic as his tenure came to a close. The Air Canada Centre, where the Maple Leafs play their home games, was filled with fans chanting, Fire Wilson, during the games. And the team's general manager, Brian Burke, ultimately decided to part ways with Wilson in 2012. After submitting an extensive application that included over 80 handwritten pages, Brian Trottier was hired as head coach of the New York Rangers. However, things did not go as planned and the team struggled under Trottier's leadership. Players like Pavel Bure and Eric Lindros were not utilized to their full offensive potential, and the coaching experiment ultimately lasted only 54 games. Despite having the support of the Rangers general manager Glenn Sather, Trottier was unable to turn the team's fortunes around and the team's poor performance led to his dismissal. The New Jersey Devils were expected to be one of the strongest teams in the National Hockey League in the 2010-2011 season, with talented players like Ilya Kovalchuk, Zach Parise, and Patrick Elias on the roster. However, the team struggled under head coach John McClain, a former player for the Devils, and the team's poor performance led to McClain being fired after 33 games. This marked the first time the Devils had missed the playoffs since 1996. Despite the strong roster, the team was unable to recover and missed the opportunity to compete in the postseason. One of the most unusual occurrences in the history of the National Hockey League was the brief coaching stint of Barry Melrose with the Tampa Bay Lightning in 2008. Despite just being hired as the team's head coach, Melrose was dismissed after only 16 games. His decision to play Steven Stamkos on the third line may have contributed to his dismissal. Also, even he admitted that the players didn't like him. Well, uh, yeah, I think the players didn't want to play for me. I, I, you don't have to be uh, Kreskin to figure that right. out. Uh, but it remains a strange and unusual event that he was let go after such a limited amount of time. And that was our look at some of the worst coaching tenures in NHL history. Did we miss any? Let us know in the comments. And be sure to subscribe to Outside the League.